From the 12th Man Studios inside Kyle Field, I'm Tina Wynn, and I'm joined by two members on our Texas A&M Men's Swimming and Diving Program, Mark Castillo and Brock Bonetti. Both set a new school record this previous weekend at the Art Adamson Invitational. First off, congratulations to you both. Thank you. A Thank couple you. of new school records set this previous weekend. Brock, we'll start with you. In the 100 backstroke, you set a new record. What was a key aspect of that swim for you? Uh, that was on the leadoff leg of the 4x100 medley relay, so I'm able to break the school record on um, that. It counts as a flat start time. So I think the key aspect of that was probably just swimming for my team. Um, getting up there and swimming relays for them is a lot of fun, and it just energizes me a lot, and I was able to put down a really fast time and mm -hmm. get in there. Now, you both were a part of the 200 medley relay that set another new record, one that hasn't been broken since 2009. What does it feel like to see all this hard work pay off and be recognized? Well, uh, that really was super exciting because we wanted to get the uh, A cut for NC2As. So that was the main goal for that race coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end, we didn't make the A cut, but we broke the school record. So that was pretty cool, but we are we're happy about it, but we know we can do better and so we can make the A cut for an, an next time. Mm. Now you also set a new record. You broke your own record in 200 yard brush stroke. What does it feel like to break your own school record? Well, I, <clears throat> it's, a, it's a, I mean, it's a, a pleasant moment. Mm -hmm. I really like it and I'm happy about it. It was the last day of the meet, so I was pretty tired and I didn't expect that at all. I just wanted to go fast and get that swim out of my way. and. And I wanted to qualify for NCs as well and get as close as I can to the cut to be able to go. So it was a great race. It was a great week of work. Mm -hmm. And I just did it to, make po to get points for our team and I did it for my team. That's, that's, that, that's about it. Brock, looking at this team as a whole, what do people need to know about this Texas A&M men's team? I think they just need to know we have a lot of firepower coming in. And uh, we had two other guys that were really close to records as well. Angel Martinez was very close in the 200 fly, oh. and then mm -hmm. Corey Balter, his first meet back eligible eligible for us, he was very close to the 50 free as well. And then Mara was also close to the 200 IM record, mm -hmm. and oh. we almost got the 400 medley re relay record as well. So that's four more that we're really close to, and I think that people just need to know that we're coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you guys don't have a meet until January. What is the motto or the focus going into this long break period before you guys kick back up again in January? Well, we, as we said before, it's uh, one step forward. For mm -hmm. So for this Christmas break, until our next meet is only f keep working hard and uh, keep focused and just enjoy this training and be happy with ourselves. And and the time is going to come. As you mm -hmm. see, this is um, February and then NC2As. As he said, we have a lot of guys that c could be even better. So it's exciting this, uh, this season, and I'm re really looking forward to see what we do. Good. Yeah. Well, you bet we'll be hearing more about swimming and diving this upcoming spring. Mario Castillo and Brock Bonetti, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Thank you.